Welcome back to State of the Arts. In our final segment, we present to you Anna O'Dell, a harp prodigy with fast moving fingers and an eye toward excelling at a major music conservatory. Odell, and I'm currently taking a class at Montgomery College. I'm taking the World Ensemble Orchestra class. I auditioned at all these different schools last year, and Juilliard was one of them. And when I got back my acceptances, and one rejection, I decided to go to Juilliard. And it was great, and everything was happy, and I was in, I was in such a good place at that point. But then I started practicing too much, and the truth is I had been sick and so I just jumped back into my practice routine without um, easing into it as I should have and so I got a really bad case of tendonitis and I had to take six months off of the harp and it was horrible, I couldn't lift a glass of water, I couldn't open a car door, I couldn't do anything. And so obviously I couldn't go to Juilliard in that condition so I decided to take a year off. And I don't do deferments so I have to re-audition. I was introduced to Don Avery by my uncle, and Don Avery is the professor of music and director of the World Ensemble at Montgomery College. I met Anna earlier in the year when she was preparing for her auditions and heard her play, and she was brilliant. She's definitely one of the prodigies, in my opinion, and many people's opinion, of this area. And she got very bad tendonitis, which I've also had and had to work on in the county with different people. So we commiserated and I recommended a bunch of people for her to get healed and then she started on a very great regimen of healing herself and getting better again. She wrote a harp part for me in the classical native concert that she had been planning and she wrote it in the hopes that I would be healed in time to play it and uh, she purposely made it a little bit less demanding so that my tendons wouldn't be stressed. And it was a really good experience and I'm really glad that I agreed to do it because it was fantastic and I had such a good time and it was great, basically. Well, now she's re-preparing for auditions and she's in great health and she's doing well and so we were glad to have her practice her audition here uh, amongst friends. One thing that really impressed me about Dawn Avery was the fact that she never really gets nervous before a performance and pre-performance anxiety is a really big deal for me. I get a very large amount of stage fright before a performance. So um, I would really love to learn from Dawn Avery and take with me wherever I go the fact that just to keep it easy, keep it relaxed, don't get nervous before a performance. And I remember before um, we performed the Native American piece she took everybody out to do a meditation in the courtyard outside. And it was just great. And we passed around the sage bowl and it was very relaxing. And I hope to keep that kind of calm with me wherever I go. She's inspired several students. We now have a heart major. Um, because of Anna, because Anna got another student so inspired to study harp. Um, also, she has such a beautiful attitude about orchestral playing, so she's been playing with the World Ensemble. She premiered a big work with Carlos Nakai in our collaboration with the Smithsonian last semester and did a really beautiful job, had several solos in that. Always came to rehearsals early, prepared, ready to go, like the professional you know, student musician. And now this uh, April, she's premiering a work with Amadou Kouyaté and I that we're writing based on 150th generation uh, Kora melodies, which is the African harp. Uh, so she's going to be duos, doing duos with him and then also playing with members of the University of Maryland and Montgomery College Orchestra uh, as part of the World Ensemble. So that, that'll be really exciting to have her. And she inspires a lot of people. I love the harp. <laughs> 